I got to catch up with a rather unique guest and how she's preparing for her busiest time of year, spooky season. Yes, Witch Gertrude visited us here in studio with our friends from Nightmare at Fox Hill in their unique collaboration with the Monticello Theater Association. Take a look. Well, spooky season is here. Joining me from Nightmare at Fox Hill is Chad. And Chad, you've brought along a special friend here. I have. We've been lucky enough for her to grace us with her presence. This is which Gertrude. Uh, she's centuries old. Later, later, later. Uh, she is quite hungry, so I apologize for oh, that. Oh, gotcha. What's her favorite uh, snack? <sighs> Tends to be souls. Oh. Sometimes we can hold her off with a cat, but we try not to do that. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure that's well appreciated while um, having you here in studio. You guys have a ton planned that's going to keep um, Witch Gertrude here quite busy. Yes. Um, tell me what's in store. Uh, so this year at Witch House, she's been kind enough to open up her house to us, although I think there might be some nefarious actions going on there. Oh. Not quite sure. We'll find out uh, October, Friday the 13th. Uh, that's when our doors open and she will allow us to enter her house. Oh my gosh. Um, are you excited to enter her house? Have you been before? Are you a little nervous? I'm not allowed in. Oh, okay. For whatever reason, she won't let us in. She just laughs when I ask about it. Oh. So, hope that's good. Okay, so what can people um, look forward to if they decide they're brave enough to go inside, check it out, tell me about this little haunted house here. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're gonna have uh, over 26 scenes uh, inside our haunt. It's gonna start outside. You're gonna go through a graveyard. You're gonna find a mausoleum. You're gonna find a secret entrance. And beyond that, I really don't know. Oh my God. Uh, but we are gonna have multiple scenes, multiple actors, and uh, we invite the bravest of the brave to come out and check us out. So the cool part about Nightmare at Fox Hill, to make it as much of a nightmare as I'm sure it's gonna be for those who love the thrill of this season, you're working with a really cool collaboration here of some really talented individuals. Yes, uh, actually this is our second year working with them. Uh, Nightmare at Fox Hill is a nonprofit haunted house. Uh, we're in it for the love of the haunt, not so much to make money, uh, but we do donate our proceeds to 501c3 organizations. Uh, this year, a second year with the Monticello Theater Association, all of our proceeds are going to go to help them uh, to be able to uh, pay for the royalties of the plays that they do to make improvements to their buildings and to overall just grow that theater to its greatest possibility of being great. And they're going to be part of the individuals that bring the thrill to the evening to the experience. Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, the president of the Theater Association I believe he's been bitten by the Halloween bug and, oh, he, and it's hard to get him out of there <laughs> working on it. Uh, but he, he does a great job. We've got some others that are in the organization that are helping out. And my wife is even sitting in on their board as well. So this is really a, a, a great collaboration, you know, the best of both worlds. We've got our creepy and scary and ideas we try not to spill out of our head <laughs> and them bringing us into the theater portion and bringing in actors and it's just making it the best of both worlds. Okay, and now will there be a place where people can see um, Witch Gertrude? I believe Witch Gertrude will be there. <laughs> okay, I, I won't tell them. Okay, okay. But she says that it's an exciting time that uh, uh, okay. I'm, gotcha. That tells I think us that everything. Says enough. I really do. <laughs> and this, this, she hasn't spoken in centuries, as you mentioned. Yes. Pretty wild. Okay. That, that could have been a sentence. That could have been a burp. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. And this is. Um, let's talk when and where people can come, enjoy the haunt of this experience, as well as supporting the Mon Monticello Theater Association. Absolutely. Uh, opening weekend is going to be Friday the 13th. Uh, we open at 7 o'clock. Uh, we'll be open from 7 to 10 30. Uh, we'll also be open every Friday and Saturday from then until November 3rd and 4th. Uh, November 4th is actually going to be our blackout show. Uh, we're going to turn out all the lights. We're going to give you one glow stick and wish you the best of luck. Oh my goodness. Well, it's definitely an experience not to miss out on, especially in light of spooky season. We appreciate you guys for joining us. Don't take too many souls oh, on your you way so out. Much. Maybe just, just Maybe a cat? No, not even. Not even. Let's save it for the night, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll connect you with all the details on how you can um, get the full thrill of this experience over on our website, CILiving.tv.